Hey, what's up, everybody? Monkey Puzzle here, and I got another showcase to show you. This time we did the Payday Expedition, and this is the base that we built out of it. We had another seven days, so we used the whole thing and had a lot of fun besides the mission itself, which was a little bit more challenging than we found the previous one. We are on the map right here, which is going to take a second to fill in. This is where it drops you. This is where the pods are. So we just chose the nearest lake. It's not necessarily the best lake, but we thought we'd make it closer to the pods for all the new people coming in. We had a full eight people again. And so, yeah, this is the build. And then we also did some science and learned a bunch of new things. We made a bunch of new stuff and checked it out. So this guy uh, will go through the interior again, but this is just what's going on inside. You can climb up to the roof through here. We got a covered walkway that goes all the way down. And then we've got crops up here in the gatehouse, which I'm gonna show you now, because they're gonna rot soon. <laughs> I'm not harvesting and planting them again, because we're at the end. But we had our pumpkins and our watermelon and our reed flowers and everything growing up here. And then, yeah, it's another bridge with the gatehouse. I need to drink some water. So let's do that, and let me eat real quick so that's done for the rest of this. The theme with this one is we there was a rock in the middle of the pond, and so the only idea I started with is I wanted to make a column that came and then went out from there. I learned that when you do the ramps or roofs uh, pointing outward, then you're always going to see the the wood structure underneath and so there was no avoiding that so we decided to make the whole rest of the house inside out <laughs> to match it so don't know what this one is called yet so far i've called it the inside out pond globule but it's kind of got a flying saucer theme going on i made this deck extra big to kind of uh, accentuate that but didn't go for concrete this time because we did that last time so this one is back to stone and bum ruler built the gatehouse it's kind of follows the same theme it's informed by the main house and architecture you got to kind of keep things matching like that so we covered the bridge in the same theme we almost put glass walls all along here but it just wouldn't have fit so yeah this is it that's the main house and then i will take you over to how we did the mission in a minute, I'm going to have to get myself out there into the Arctic. But we built, you know, a fairly simple little shelter for that. But I'll show it to you anyways. This was a test over here. We just wanted to see if there was any use to the aluminum. And what we found with it is it still takes storm damage. But it takes about half as much. Well, it's gone through several more <laughs> storms now. So this one is pretty much degraded. But... It takes about half the amount of damage from storms that the wood does. Uh, the front, funny enough, is exactly the same, but it has the same durability as the wood. But we were watching it as the storms went, and the wood degraded about twice as fast as the storms that the aluminum did. And again, we're doing the thing with the overhang over the glass because it would have broken completely. It breaks really fast in the storms. But just the little half piece is enough to protect it. One of the other new things we did is we tested out frag grenades and smoke grenades. The smoke grenades actually weren't as impressive. I tried, I tested them in the stream. And if you wanna see all the testing, definitely watch my last stream. But we tested them in the stream to see if these could break aggro with the wolf. And it did not seem to do that. So I don't know exactly what the point is of them. Maybe they can break aggro on a thing, but they didn't in our testing. The frag grenades were a lot more fun. Uh, they work really well on wood houses. <laughs> so we'll show you that. They take a second. Boom. Oh, you can see it took half my damage there. So they got a pretty nice shockwave. I actually tested those on fishing. 
And there's a nice radius of fish it will kill. Uh, you can use them. But if you want to set your house on fire when you leave, the frag grenade is a really good way to do that, it turns out. Nothing else, none of the other building materials, except I assume thatch. We didn't try thatch. But none of the other building materials were at all susceptible to the grenades. Even the glass, surprisingly enough. I'm going to get back this time. Doesn't take any damage from the frag grenade. <laughs> so now you know. But we had a lot of fun. If you really want to set the whole forest on fire, and uh, you don't want to take the time to do it with a torch, you can do it that way. They will work on animals, but it's tricky to get it close enough. They don't throw very far at all. But they will work. Boom. And if it doesn't kill them right away, then uh, it will set them on fire, at the very least. Over here, I can show you something else. Uh, it actually should still be lit. We tested the omnidirectional work lamp. We had a little lag there. I'm going to have to kill the worms. Oh, it's out. I probably need to get some more biofuel. Let me come back real quick. Be right back. Okay, I'm back just in time for a storm. Let's get these worms done first. And there's sometimes there's another one here. And maybe not this time. Oh, I hear it. Oh, there it is. Let me get that out of here. And I've got the poison pills. It should knock that out completely. I could have taken it beforehand. And then I wouldn't have needed it at all. Or I wouldn't have got poisoned at all. But yeah, we made this omnidirectional work lamp. And honestly, it turned out to be pretty disappointing. First... You gotta have a whole generator to use it. So if you want to use it in a cave... Oh, it did have this. Some of them must have just uh, turned it off. But yeah, it needs electricity. You gotta wire it up. And then here, let me turn this lamp off. And that's all it does. So not very amazing. The light goes about this far, and it's kind of a weak light. And just the fact that you need to bring a whole generator to use it kind of makes them not very practical. So, kind of disappointed by those. Probably won't be using those at all. And if you're going to do it in the house, you might as well just use a ceiling light. Anyway, let me go back to the house, and I'll give you the full tour over there. All right, just in time for the storm to go away. Another thing we played with for the first time is the trophy bench. So we got trophies all over the place, as you will see. But the bear one, again, is a little disappointing because it's so small, way too small. Looks like a bear cub rather than the full size bear. But whatevs, uh, this also has the overhang. It became a stylistic effect here, but it's to protect the wood pieces. There's no upside down stone triangles. So you got to use wood for that. And definitely made a pretty interesting shape on the inside. So this is where we got our skinning bench. And then, yeah, you can come down this whole walkway. Nice and lit up with the iron wall torches. Which is pretty cool. And then, yeah, going crazy <laughs> with the deer trophies. <laughs> and placing them in the strangest ways possible. This one's my favorite right here. Coming through the door and you're like... <laughs> yeah, but then all the usual stuff in here. That's the new trophy bench. At least it's new to us. We learned how to use it. And yeah, the full kitchen. And we've got our storage up on the little half walls. Or excuse me, half floors again. Um, and then none of this is new here. Except for we went ahead and splurged at the end on the metal oxide dissolver. It looks pretty cool. It holds all the kinds of cylinders as well. I don't know that it's that much more efficient, but it definitely fills faster, if that's a thing, and it definitely holds enough for a crew of eight 
There's 10 slots in here, I believe. And it runs on biofuel, which is nice that it doesn't run electricity, but this still takes an additional fuel rather than sulfur. But I guess biofuel is more sustainable than sulfur anyway. But was just curious what that looked like. I don't know if we'll make it again or not, but just trying to check out everything in here. That's what the buffalo looks like. Yeah, and there is more deer <laughs> and everything like that. So this is a little interesting down here just because of the shape of it. We ended up with a, a grotto. So we sort of have an underwater swimming pool there and then the, plenty of space to hide the generators down here. We could have put a whole bunch of generators and stuff. You can actually go through here. The bottom layer is doors, so you can actually swim out <laughs> into here if uh, that's what you want to do. No fish in this lake, unfortunately. And that's the underside there. All right, so that's it. I don't want this to go too long, so I'm going to go ahead and get myself out to the Arctic where we did the actual mission using the radar to get us out there. And I will show you what we built there to protect the fuel extractor. All right, I'm ready to go, but one other thing I should probably show you before I go out to the Arctic is how we found out people who've done this mission already. This will be no big deal, but we went ahead and just placed the radar that we had to make. That was the whole point of this mission is we had to make the fabricator and the radar and the extractor. So you had to get up to tier four. So we went ahead and did that. Let's press F on it and it'll scan. You see the little progress on this bar. And while that's doing that, I'll just give you a little look. <laughs> Those deer heads, man. Okay, the scan's complete. And if you look at your map after that, you can see that there is a indicator that shows you the general direction of where it's at. And it turns out that it's not right in the middle of this, that this is a range that's anywhere. And it, for us, it turned out to be right here. So I think that's it. We went here, we placed one from our roof like this, and then we went down here and placed it and pointed this up. And you have to place it one more time uh, when you get there. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this here because I wanna wear a backpack. And, ooh, <laughs> use the ladder, and I'll see you there. There's a bear ready to greet me on the entrance to the Arctic, and I can show you one other thing we made, which is the binoculars. They're kind of cool, not really necessary, but they do give you a nice close-up high-res view. And they weren't very expensive either. And then I also brought out the taxidermy tool so that we can get trophies of these. I've got a grenade ready to go as well. Let me use that to skin it rather than the regular thing. And we are missing a polar bear trophy and a snow leopard trophy. So if I happen to find those, uh, that would be cool as well. Not going to do another death montage on this one, but I did gain a level with the number of snow wolves that I've already had to kill coming out here. And there's another one. <laughs> oh, and another. Ooh. Gotta love this compound bow, though. Alright, I'm gonna keep going. I wonder if we can see our shelter with these. Yeah, you can. There it is. I just got to get there. So it's pretty simple, but it's made of stone to provide uh, protection from the weather as well as animals. I didn't bring any wood with me, unfortunately. I forgot to bring that to light the torches. I wonder if we left any in here. Nope. But yeah, it's got a full fireplace and an ice box. <laughs> We did have coal in those. I could actually get some more from a cave near here. But this is the node. It was glowing when we found it for the node for the exotics. 
and you had to set this extractor down. Apparently there's two or three spots on here that you can set it. So you can make up to three extractors and put them on to speed it up because it took not quite an hour for it to extract the whole thing. We weren't in any hurry. So we just roamed around the area, found caves, killed wolves and stuff like that. We rather saved the resources to make more toys in the end, which is what we did. But yeah, it's pretty simple. We just made a donut of eight of these foundation pieces, the stone frames, I think they're called. And we surrounded what we thought was the node, but turns out the nearest point to put this was here, but they work through the floor just fine. So we could have put a piece here too. It was cooler though, seeing the glowing thing in the middle. And yeah, with the fire and our spawn points set and the glass windows to keep an eye on the wolves, this was more than adequate. I heard for stone, you do need a sloped roof because a flat roof can break under the snow weight in a house. Uh, I haven't seen it, but I heard it's the case. Happened to one of the guys who was with us before, so we made sure it was a peaked roof. So either a stone with peaked roof or fully concrete, and that'll do it. Anyway, I'm going to meet you back at the other house, and we will sign out. Just wanted to show you this, and of course we had pre-assembled it back at the other base and then took it apart. Uh, I recommend building the thing you're going to take out first because there's always a piece you're going to forget. And so if you build the whole thing in place before you leave at your main base, you'll know all the things you need. And then you can just press Y on everything to completely disassemble it and pack it up. It was kind of heavy, but we just divided it among a couple of us and we were able to bring it out here. Yeah, and with that, it made the whole mission a lot easier. I wonder if I could hit this guy from all the way out here. Oh, yeah. Nice. I'm also going to look for some snow leopards, too. We didn't see any polar bears out here, though. Which I'm not complaining about. There is a snow leopard right there. So I'm going to grab that trophy for our house. All right, let's get on home before something bad happens. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, a montage from this one would have been so redundant because I had to kill so many. But I cannot die now because I am so close to another level. So I'm going to eat all this meat, which is I brought for this reason. I hear that bear again. There he is. Maybe he's what's going to get me to the next level. Yes, he was. All right. Another bear trophy. Home again, home again. Lickety split. Jiggity jig. All right, everybody. With that done, it's time to say goodbye to this place and light it on fire. Bye, nice house. I'll see you next time. No, just kidding. <laughs> Last thing we made was the fire extinguisher. And it works pretty good. I highly recommend it. <laughs> All right, everybody, that's it. That's another showcase, this time with the Payday Expedition. I definitely recommend you checking out the other ones if this is your first one. You can also check out all our streams where you can watch us the whole adventure in detail and all the hijinks with the whole crew. Anyway, thank you all for watching this one, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>